Welcome to video number 11. Thank you all for all your responses to my email as to how to keep going and if you wanted me to keep going and I'm glad you're viewing me on a regular basis. Um, feel free to send me little video clips so I can say hi to you as well. Um, so today I'm sitting in a chair. So a little bit of chair yoga, but also chair, using this chair as a prop to do uh, a quick little practice you could do, you know, where your coffee's brewing, while supper's cooking, whatever you might be doing where there's a chair handy or you just feel like a need a stretch as you're walking through your dining room. So anyways, let's get started. to just spend for yourself. Really it's important for us to have those few moments to do something nice for ourselves. I found yoga over the years is the best way to do that for me. You could add the head a little bit here too, looking over one shoulder and the other shoulder. Mm, nice, okay. So we are gonna move sideways in our chair. I'm going to put a block under my feet. We're going to go vertically challenged. I'm on my feet. My feet are under so I create this 90 degree. Hands are going on the back of the chair. I'm creating this wonderful flannel flip. Pretty tall. Just keeping in that spine. Very nice. Okay. Swing it all to the other side. Bring my little block with me. tall, 90 degrees. You could always be at the end of your chair if that works better for you to get your feet flat. Whatever you need to do. Pause this video wherever you need to to get the props you need. Get a nice seated spinal flip. Nice. Bring that back to the center. Bring that block with us. Keep it in front of us now. Okay. I'm scooting to the end here so my feet are pretty flat on the floor. I'm going to inhale up. Oh, exhale all the way over. Head's going to go down. Inhale up. Exhale. One more time. Inhale up. Now this time as you exhale, let's just let that right arm come down. Look at see. You can just do that nice lengthening like we do standing or in a sitting position. You can do this all from the chair. Back up. Greatest stretch there is. Mm. Okay, beautiful. I'm widening my legs a little bit because I'm going to inhale up and I'm going to swan dive over all the way to a seated forward fold. Let that head hang. Release. Half lift. Bring your hands up on top of your knees. Half lift today is going to be a seated cat cow, so I lengthen forward, chin, leading with that chin. Pulling that belly back, round and full. Forward and back. So it's inhale as you come forward, opening that chest, filling that chest. Exhale back, beautiful. And then taking that right back on over. And bringing that all the way back up. Okay, we're gonna go over one more time. So we want to have that block handy uh, if your hands don't reach the floor or just let your hands go to the floor. You're going to inhale up, maybe swan dive over. Someday we will get in that swimming pool, get a warm up. I'm going to keep my right hand on the floor, let my left hand come up as far as it'll go, okay? Just a little seated spine. standing. I'm going to turn my chair. Okay, so I'm going to turn my chair. Actually, I'm going to turn my chair back. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. You know me. My brain and my 
and it can go always work the same. I'm gonna do cat cow stretch using the pop, the seat of the chair today. So my hands are gonna go, or not cat cow, excuse me, uh, half down dog and up dog, okay? So I'm here, 90 degrees, okay? So feel that nice stretch all the way from those sit bones all the way to those fingertips. You can really spread out all the way over the seat of the chair. Then I can bring that forward, see? Give it to an up dog. Back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Beautiful. Okay. Now we'll spin that chair around. Sorry about that before. Spin that chair around for some hip circles. Okay. Balance side. So this hip circle is over here. You know, four or five times. I'm sure, I don't know about you, when I'm sitting a lot more than I normally would, not chasing grandchildren, and the constant up and down. So, I need to stretch like this. So before I switch sides, my one-legged chair, my number four pose, I can use the chair to hold right on, or, whoops, I might need to hold on today. Beautiful, now to the other side, okay? And I'm gonna just freestyle it on the other side. Rather than move the chair, you could have just turned around. Rather than make you have to look at my backside for it. Other direction. Okay, bring that in front. One legged chair, number four pose. Just getting that nice stretch in that hip. Hmm. Nice. Whoops. Okay, I think we're pretty warmed up. Now, turning the chair back. Probably want to bring that block or that book with you, okay? Especially if you're on the shorter side like I am. And now, remembering our days of using the ball for our yoga, I'm going to use the chair like I would the ball. So if I put my foot over here, and I'm going to straddle. So make sure you're in pants, pants that have, you know, loose-fitting pants and some stretch here. So I have stretched over this chair, back foot, knife edge is gripping the mat or the floor. If you're on a nice hardwood floor, you're probably okay. Even linoleum might grip with a bare foot, okay? Or the sneaker, you may even still have your sneakers on, and that's probably okay for this routine, okay? Up we go, warrior one. Out to the side, warrior two. And then we can extend that warrior getting these beautiful stretches. And then take this top hand, forearm down, extended side angle stretch. Beautiful. Okay, bring that down. Bring those legs in. We're gonna just go over for a second. This we're doing to get them, find the block to bring to the other side. The block, I'm gonna put it under my foot again. So, got warrior legs. I'm supported by the chair. The chair is holding up my thigh. So this is just some quick, quick yoga. We don't have to do a lot of prep for. We don't have to change our, get all fancy. You don't even really need a mat, okay? You could be on a hard, like I said before, hardwood floor. Something that doesn't let you slide. I'm thinking even carpeting. So you're not, carpeting maybe sneakers, okay? Experiment. Experiment that at all costs be safe. Okay. Now I'm going to bring this back to the front. Front, maybe kind of wide in that chair. Up. Reach, 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 and over you go. Maybe you want that block again. Mm. Let it all go for a second. Walk those hands up. Okay, and we're going to come up off our chair again chair turns. We're facing the chair. I'm going to put my one leg up. 
hamstring stretch. No laying on the floor or anything. So we just gently spin forward. Isn't that nice stretch in there? Beautiful. Nice stretch. Okay. One more. Feel it right down that leg. Beautiful. Okay. And maybe stretch that leg back before we switch. Just a little lunge here. And then the other side. Nice. You know, you could go down, soft, squeeze this thigh muscle. Don't, don't hyperextend, don't be locking this knee, okay? You can even get a little soft with a little bend like this. Then we protect that knee. See that little bend? But I'm still getting that nice stretch as I go over. So we're gonna work in those hips as well here. Nice job. Um, another time I will show you final relaxation with your legs upon the chair. But now, I think that's a nice job. So I'm going to say, sit back. If, sit back and your leg back against the back of your chair. Just roll those shoulders down and then back. Head is level. Hands are in your lap. Maybe just take a moment, close those eyes, and breathe. Focusing on your inhales and your exhales. Thinking about softening your face. Allowing the chair to support you. for taking a little time for yourself today. And I'm going to bring my hands to my heart and I'm going to say thank you for joining me today and we'll see you next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Be thankful you took a little time for yourself. You got stretched, you got moving without a whole lot of prep and a lot of uh, extra things. I'm going to say, stay healthy, stay safe, and namaste.